area is a function to find the roots of a polynomial okay if you say roots and give the polynomial it will find the roots of the polynomial equal to zero equation okay for example if i want to find the solution of roots of of the polynomial are one, one negative five and six huh? five x plus six okay so this one I'll simply say roots to be 3 and 2 ok and also there is a function if it's roots given I can find the original polynomial ok let's say I know the roots to be 3 and 2 and I want to find the original polynomial ok I can pass it as a vector so for example if I say r equals 3 and 2 I pass this poly function poly function okay it will return the original polynomial see roots I can find using the roots and if you know the roots you can use the roots function to poly function to find the original polynomial okay you can add the polynomial by adding the vectors but you have to do what we call padding ok I will show you how you add using this padding it's not a big thing it's just a simple thing I'll clear the screen first let's say I have this polynomial 1 this guy Now when I am adding this one is what? 0 term, x1 term, x2 term, x3 term, 4th degree. No, this is degree 1 polynomial. So P2 is missing 3 terms in front. I have to put them in front to align. Okay. Otherwise it will add miss there will be a mismatching of vectors are not of the same size. You so you cannot add. So to make it same size, I will do P1 plus, I do a padding, I put three zeros to 
match up with the other one and then I put P2 okay So you have to put zeros like this manually okay so that is a discomfort but there is no way around that to add polynomials okay multiplying polynomials we have a function okay if we want to multiply the two polynomials we use this it will present the coefficient of the multiplied polynomial okay so for example if i say c equals this function is okay, remember this function okay i can say p1 So this gives the coefficient of the multiplied polynomial. Okay, we can see here. Multiplication. Okay, we can use it for convolution also. We'll uh, look at that later. Okay. So you can use that to polynomial multiplication. So you can divide polynomials using the con function. Okay. So here it will return two answers: the quotient and the remainder. Okay. When we divide the polynomial, you know you will get a quotient and a remainder. So this will give you the quotient and the remainder. Okay. So again, we we'll recall our polynomial. This is p1. Okay. I can divide P1 by T2 okay so I am getting two answers I have captured them I will say okay the first answer is the quotient you get second answer is the remainder okay and you pass in the numerator first and denominator next okay for numerator we will pass P1 first I have typed the function is the quotient polynomial and remainder polynomial which is a constant no? because my denominator is degree 1 okay so remember these functions I will give some exercises to try them out 